What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Queen Seas, and I am back with another video. So, if y'all seen the title, y'all already know I done shut the whole place down, honey. <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely going to get into this story for y'all because I was very, very, very embarrassed. <laughs> But if this is your first time here on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know a couple of my subscribers said that they would subscribe, but somehow, you know, YouTube unsubscribed them. So make sure that y'all are subscribed to the channel and also make sure that your post notifications is on, okay? Also check out some of my vlogs and other videos. You know, I try to give y'all a, you know, conglomerate and a nice mixture of different content. But... Also, hit that daggone like button, okay? Okay, hit all the buttons down at the bottom. Hit all the buttons down at the bottom, okay? And, yeah, I'm going to meet y'all in this story. Before I get into today's video, this story time is sponsored by the Neon Exchange, okay? They are a small business specializing in custom Crocs, baby. <laughs> and I got two pair. Give me two pair. I need two pair. So I could get the stopping in my custom Crocs. Yo, this is a small black owned business and y'all know queen steve's don't promote no mess y'all the service was so quick okay look at how detailed these are i think these are like my most favorite ones they are so stylish so chic okay like the crocs come included okay you just tell them basically the type of theme or scheme that you would like to go along with your crocs let me give me a thumbnail you just tell them the theme that you would like to go along with your crocs and they will get them out to you y'all know that the holiday season is coming up and these will make a perfect gift especially you know if your girlfriend or boyfriend has steez like me okay so y'all know the queen steez don't promote no mess okay i can put my guarantee stamp on these that they're going to get to you that they're going to be done to perfection and that the professionalism is there i can actually give you a guarantee okay <laughs> so if you would like to shop with the neon exchange i'll put the information down below and also i'll drop Y'all, a discount code down in the description box if you guys want to shop with them, okay? Make sure y'all tell me that Queen Steve sent you. Period. So, let me say this. First and foremost, don't be inviting me to y'all kids' parties, okay? Don't invite me to no children's parties because I'm not coming after this i'm not coming to no parties baby okay so y'all listen my little cousin had a party at it's called sky zone so if y'all don't know it's like a trampoline house or like trampoline park stuff like that like we got one called sky zone urban air so basically it's like all these trampolines foam pits and like all this type of stuff right so it's for kids and adults like anybody can go there so, I go to the party, y'all. I paid $2 to get me some socks, right? So, you can't jump in your regular socks. You got to buy the socks from them because they got, you know, the grip on the bottom. It's like hospital socks. If I would have known that I need them socks, baby, I could have just got me a paper in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all know I had to pay my little $2 to get my socks. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you know, go jump. So, I go, you know, to the little trampoline, you know, bam, bam, bam. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? I jump for a little bit. I go sit down, you know, they go sing happy birthday and all of that stuff. So, you know, everything is going well. 
So we go to the next part, which they had like a little dodgeball game. So y'all, I'm over there, I'm, you know, playing dodgeball on a little trampoline thing. And we jump in, we jump in, we jump in. You know, y'all, listen. Dodgeball. I'm the dodgeball queen. I'm telling you. Back in elementary school, dodgeball was my game. Dodgeball and what's the one with like four corn? It's basically like kickball. I was gonna call it four square. Kickball, y'all. That's that's my game. So y'all I'm all playing dodgeball with them and you know, just like you know, just having a good time. Well, so I threw it. You know what I'm saying? So I threw it. Um, stuff got a little bit, uh, <laughs> stuff got a little bit shaky, uh, right around this part, right? So they have this very large foam pit, okay? So I see the kids is, you know, the kids is going and maybe, hold on, let me put it, let me tell y'all what the foam pit look like before I get into the foam pit, right? So it's a very large, imagine the size of an Olympic pool, right? But filled with square styrofoam blocks. So it's filled up, right? So they have all of these different lanes because they got different people you know like about five people could go at the same time to jump into this olympic sized pool foam pit okay so it probably wasn't like the size of an olympic size pool you know so better probably was like half of that but anyway it was bigger damn enough so the kids is going you know you get you a couple jump jump or you run jump and then they doing flips they doing all the stuff into the foam pit and they Climbing out, right? So I look at a couple of the kids, you know, do that, climb out, blah, 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 blah. I go over, I look at them, but I'm like, hmm, I'm a bit grah. And I don't think that this is something that I would be interested in. So I was like, yeah, they like, come on, come on, come on. I was like, mm, yeah, no. So, y'all, I left. I went back over to where they was playing dodgeball at because y'all know how it is. People, kids, you all trying to jump. You know, listen, it's different squares on the trampoline. You all trying to jump on your square. And people, kids, is coming over. They jumping on your damn feet. You know, they falling all out over the place. So, I was over there, you know, getting my revenge and dodgeball. Yes, I was knocking the kids down. I was busting them down. I was just way too fast. Like I said, I was the dodgeball queen. So, for you, little kid who stepped on my damn foot... Uh-huh, jump, jump, you better duck, okay? Queen C's is coming through. You better duck. I used to play softball, I played basketball, and I was a goalie in soccer, baby. You better duck, because I'm coming for you. So, y'all, listen. I went back over. I'm playing dodgeball. I'm having such a good time. It was some people there. Um, I don't know if they, like, were there or they just, like, came there often. They came up to me. They like, yeah. We see you killing it on the dodgeball um, field. Um, we had a league on Saturday. You know, if you want to come down. I'm like, oh, y'all got a league on Saturday. Listen, y'all. I'm just totally, like, feeling myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to go sign up for the fucking Saturday league. A dodgeball, right? Um, I had no intentions of even going. But I was just in the mood. I'm like, oh, yeah, guys. Absolutely sure. I'm like, sign me up. I'm like, do we get cute little t-shirts and all that? I'm like, I would love to play in your dodgeball league. First of all, this was way out in Columbia, Maryland. <laughs> like, if y'all know, if y'all from, I know a couple of my fans, y'all from Maryland, like, <laughs> I don't even, that's like way on the other side of town. I'm definitely not driving over there for... No dodgeball league, but anyway, y'all, I signed up for the dodgeball league. And, you know, if y'all people see this, you know, I'm very sorry I didn't show up to practice. I'm very sorry I didn't show up to the game <laughs> on Saturday, but, yeah. So, y'all, I'm in there feeling myself. I'm jumping, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. So, I'm like, whoop, whoop. You know, let me take a break, right? 
Because I'm like, you know, this nice little exercise. I'm like, the baby queen, Steve's got tired. So I went to go sit down, right? So when I went to go sit down, it was a little ledge over by the phone pit, right? So I go back and I go sit by the phone pit, right? So now we got some, like, it's little kids going in there, but then we got some teenagers, right? So some teenagers, they jumping, jumping, doing flips, boom, in the phone pit, right? So they having a little trouble getting out of the phone pit, but, you know, they crawl on it, they make their way out. So I was like, okay, I was like, yeah, it must not be that hard. I'm like, it must be a solid bottom, right? I'm still not sold on getting into the phone pit. Like, I'm not sold on it, but I'm watching people. So, y'all, like I said, the teenagers jump in. They had a little trouble getting out. So, I'm like, mm, yeah, no. So, the big adults and my cousins and some of them, they come over. They're like, oh, get in the phone pit. Come on, get in the phone pit. I was like, no, y'all get in the phone pit, okay? So, my cousins go, mind you. One of them, he like 6'4", you know, pretty big guy. He get in, my other cousin get in. They, you know, jumping on trampoline, jump, jump. They doing flips in the phone pit, right? So they get in. They like, oh, dad, you know, they trying to put, they had a little trouble getting out too. So I'm like, hmm, I don't know, but y'all, I think y'all already know what I'm getting ready to say. I feel like if you, I feel like if you're a true subscriber and you've been watching me for, you know, a long time, y'all already know what, what, what Queen Steve did. Y'all already know what I did. So, um, even after I said I wasn't getting in the phone pit, they convinced me to get in the damn phone pit. And was it the biggest mistake that I ever made? Okay. Just hold tight and listen. Just listen to this because this is getting ready to be a bunch of mess. So, you know, for those of y'all that don't know, um, I'm a plus size girl. Okay. I'm a plus size girl. So, when I go up there, you know, it's like a little teenager that's, you know, working their little weekend jobs. I'm like, sir, do people like me, when they get in, do they get out? He like, yeah, yeah, he like, you should be able to get out. Um, go ahead. So, something in my spirit is telling me don't get in here. Okay, simpleton. Don't get in here, okay? But I'm like, yeah, I'm like, the little guy said I can get out. I'm like, I got upper body strength. And me thinking in my head, I'm like, in the bottom of this is solid. So I'm sitting there, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. I'm thinking, I'm like, Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candlestick, y'all. I jumped over. And while I was jumping high, y'all, I'm bang, bang, bang. So, you know, the further up you go, the further out you go. So, y'all, I jump and I jump the damn furthest away. So, I'm like, huh. So, when I jumped in, like I said, I'm a big girl. I kind of went way down in there. Way down in the hole. I went way down in there. So, I'm like, okay. So, I'm like, time to get up. So, I'm like, <sighs> trying to get out the damn phone pit balls. Phone pit. So I'm walking, you know, trying to climb my way out. And I can't get out. And I'm looking at the guy who just told me I was going to be able to get out. And he's looking at me like, you better get out. So my cousins and all them, they like, which will come closer so we can pull you out. Like I say, y'all, okay, this is the the ledge that you jump off of. I'm out here, okay? This is a nice distance from the dag on ledge. So I'm like, sir, get me out. So he, like, try to roll on top of him. I'm like, I can't roll. So he's like, well, it's a trampoline in the, un the underneath the part, y'all. 
I thought it was a solid bottom. It's a trampoline. So, yo, I'm trying to pull the damn foam balls. So, the more I'm pulling them, the more I'm sinking to the goddamn going bottom. So, now I'm up to here in damn foam pit balls. I ain't even got nowhere near close to the daggone edge. I said, sir, do y'all have a hook or something? Do y'all have a hook, a hoist, uh, anything that y'all, that I could, you know, even wrap around myself and y'all ass could just, you know, pull me up to the ledge and I can climb out. He said, ma'am, no, you are gonna have to come over here. I said, oh my goodness. So I said, sir, please don't make a scene. So, y'all, it's still kids. They jumping in, jumping in, jumping in. Listen, I'm covered up to here, y'all. I was so mad. I was like, you know what? Because, <sighs> the, the first of all, the foam pit stank. Them things stank and smelt like cheddar cheese toes and kids' toes and all that stuff. And it's, like, up to my neck. So, the smell is wafting up. So, y'all know I had an attitude. So, I'm like, oh, my goodness. I was like, I'm like, you know, you should never got in here. I don't even know why you got here. Then you want to jump so far out. So, y'all, I got so mad. I was taking them things. I was like, get the... Y'all, it was just foam. I was just throwing them things everywhere. And the more I threw them, because there was millions of them in there, the more they came right back in where I was that kept burying me. So, y'all, I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm just trying to get close enough the way I can reach each one of my cousins so they can pull my big tail up out of this foam pit. It wasn't going down like that. Y'all, it felt like I was in, <laughs> I swear, I could, I, I, I lied to God not. I think it took about 45 minutes to an hour to extract me. <laughs> Yo, I was so mad, Joe. It took like 45 minutes forever to extract me from the goddamn phone pit that I shouldn't have never got in. So, y'all, as I'm trying to move closer, I done lost both of my socks. So, I'm in this nasty phone pit with barefoot, straight barefoot. So, I'm irritated because I'm just like, ew. So the closer I get, I tell the young man that's working the phone pit, I said, "Hun, you gonna have to call some dead on reinforcements." And I was like, "Where the backup at? Like, how am I gonna get out?" Y'all, I was in there. I, I swear, it, I swear, about thirty minutes had passed. So y'all, I'm fatigued. Okay, I'm fatigued. My legs hurt. My arms hurt. I didn't swim. I ain't swim, but, you know, like, foam pit swam. I done threw the stuff up. I done did all this stuff trying to get out this goddamn foam pit. And it couldn't help. So, I told my cousin, I said, okay, go get the rest of the guys. Yo, at this point, I'm, like, straight directing people. I'm like, look, go get the rest of them because I'm going to need you and all of y'all going to have to pull and hoist me out. Y'all already know my cousin on there. They laughing. They, oh, I'm about to peel myself. I mean, they just cutting up like it's just like so funny. And at this point, I'm like, yeah, it's not funny. Like, I cannot get out. This is not funny. So, the guy was just like, he was like, we gonna have to shut this down. I was like, shut it down for what? He was like, we gonna have to clear the area. So y'all, he gets on the walkie. He Nine one one G classified, G four classified. Bring in the ladder. I was like, bring in the ladder. He said, yeah, we gonna have to bring in the ladder. So they gathering all the kids. They telling the kids, they like, come on, get out, get out, get out, get out. Everybody get out. I said, yeah. I said, why you putting everybody out? I said, back the crowd up, back the crowd up, cause y'all already know it was people being nosy. They all trying to figure out what's going on, why they shut this part down. Sometimes I'm like, block this. People all, they going to go get their parents. They all coming back with the parents. The parents like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And like I told y'all, whenever I be embarrassed, I'm going to just play dead. Like, I'm just like, I'm just going to play dead because mind your damn business. Like, <laughs> why are y'all over here in my business? <laughs> uh, I was not feeling it. So... They call in the letter, right? So I'm like, 
what y'all want me to do with the ladder? Because like I said, the bottom of it was everlasting. And the bottom of it was a trampoline. So even if you set the ladder down, it was still going to be bouncing. It's still going to be bouncing. It's still bouncing. Like, it's not a solid ground. So I'm like, um, what exactly do y'all want me to do with the ladder? So y'all, they passed me the ladder. So I'm down there, y'all. And there was a big ladder. I'm down there opening the ladder up. Trying to put the ladder in the phone. So I'm trying to clear a pathway. And I'm telling I'm like, sir, I'm exhausted. I'm fatigued. Okay. Please just get me out. So y'all, I'm trying to set up the ladder. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't even believe y'all. I'm trying to set up the ladder, right? It's little kids sneaking in there, jumping in the pit. They all blowing the whistle like, rrr, 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 rrr. get out, get out, get out. This is shut down. This side is shut down. Y'all, my cousins and all them, they go get the rest of the people from the damn party. They are up there laughing and crying on. I mean, y'all, it was just, just the laughing stop, right? So finally, we get the ladder, right? So I'm climbing up the ladder. And y'all, this was like a regular construction ladder. Like, I'm climbing up the ladder. I get about one, two, three steps up the ladder. Like I said, the ladder was on the damn trampoline, so you can imagine what the hell happened. Boom. I fall off the goddamn ladder. So y'all, I'm just like, I'm just laying in the um, I'm just laying in the just things like I'm just like, let me just be swallowed by the foam and just forget I'm out here. And when I turn into a sack of bones, then scoop me up. I'm like, yo, I really can't believe it. I was like, you know what? I was like, yo, take the ladder out, take the ladder out. I was like, let me just try to get as close to the edge as possible. I'm like, and y'all pull my arms up and I'm gonna run up the side of the thing with my legs. Y'all could have swore it took like it took it was like a 15 hour extraction. It ain't take that long, but it felt like it took that long, y'all. So they was trying to hoist me out. They trying to hoist me out. Y'all know how guys get irritated. My cousins, they all yanking my arms, y'all. Just yanking my arms all out the sockets. I'm like, look, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Y'all need to calm down. Cause y'all doing too much. Okay? Y'all ripping my arm out the socket. Cause if you don't want to help, then you can leave. Okay? You don't want to help get me out of here. You can go. Your service is not needed. So listen. I get close to the edge, right? So I'm trying to chinch up the side, but the side of it is a damn trampoline too. So I told the guy, I said, all right. Give me the ladder again. I said, because I'm going to have to make a plan. I said, I'm going to have to run up about, about three or four of these. And then y'all pull me. Y'all pull me and I'm going to jump. And I'm going, you know, get, I'm going to make it to the side. Like, I got to get up out of here. I'm going to smell the cheddar cheese, toes, and everything, y'all. So, he gave me the ladder back. So, I, so I make a little way. I put the ladder. I tell my cousins, I said, yo, you stand right here, big fella. You stand right here, big fella. And I tell the little teenage guy, I said, sir, just get out of the way. Just make sure there ain't nobody. Because it took so long to get me out, a crowd has formed. A very large crowd has formed with basically everyone who was in there, all the parents, all the kids, everyone is looking to see what's going on, right? So you can hear the people saying, what's going on? What's going on? Somebody like, the kids, the one of the little kids was saying, it's a fat lady stuck in the phone. He was like, it's a fat lady stuck in the phone pit. I was like, when I get out, if I see you on the dodgeball court, I'm going ahead to get you. Mind your business. So I was like, oh, Lord. I said, everybody knows. I was like, everybody knows a fat lady stuck in the goddamn phone pit. I was like, okay, I definitely got to get out. And I told the guy, I was like, you know, as soon as I get out, open this back immediately. I'm going to roll. And, yeah, nobody's ever going to know. I said, I'm going to walk off. So, y'all, it was time to, you know, try to execute my plan, right? So, I put the, the, the ladder down. I'm like, listen, y'all. I'm like, it's literally going to go on four. Just pull me. It don't matter how high up I am on the ladder. But I'm going to get up as high on the ladder as I can, as quickly as I can. Y'all, just pull me, okay? Just pull me. 
So I put the letter in, the letter shaking, the letter shaking. I'm like, look, come on, I only got one shot. Cause I was like, if not, I'm standing here and the sky's on close. Like, fuck. <laughs> so yo, I, I put the letter down. I'm like, ready, go. So I, I get up about four or five of the things. I said, pull me. Y'all, they all pulled two, grabbed my arms, one grabbed my shirt, and another one grabbed my leg. Y'all, they just threw, they just threw me, y'all, just, just like a sack of potatoes. They just threw me onto the side, and y'all, I was so exhausted, I just laid there. I said, oh, because oh, it took, it took like six hours to get me out of there, like, oh my goodness, so, yep. That was, the, that was the time I shut the, uh, whole damn sky zone down. <laughs> I shut the whole dead one place down, but let me tell you this. <laughs> I haven't been back to one since. It ain't going to. I don't want to see nobody jump on no trampoline. I don't want one in my backyard when I go to people's house to a cookout when they got a trampoline. I don't even look at it, okay? But y'all know I always do a more of the story. The moral of the story is, keep your big ass out the goddamn phone pit, because you know better. That's the moral of the story, and that's some advice for me. You know your big grown tail shouldn't be up in the phone pit. That is for the kids. But that's the moral of the story. That's just to myself, and i already been taking my advice and practicing what I've been preaching, okay? So if you like this story, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below if anything embarrassing like this has happened to you. Because, y'all, I was so embarrassed. Especially when the little boy was like, it's a fat one stuck in the phone pit. Like, shut up, little boy. But, <laughs> but yeah, drop down in the comments. I hope y'all enjoyed this story. And, yeah, i see you guys next time. Bye.